Hi and welcome to the channel. Tonya made a request to analyze Selenis. So let's take a look. First we'll find out the dividend score and after that we'll check the valuation with the help of fast graphs. Selenis has a market cap of $10 billion, a current stock price at 94.35 and they operate in the chemicals industry. During the last year they have gone neck and neck with the S&P 500, that with a bit more volatility. And this is with dividends reinvested for both the S&P and for Selenis. Let's check some financial data. The annual sales growth the past 5 years has been 9.6% which is extremely strong. Even better are the earnings, the earnings per share 22.5%. Percent. Amazing. Analysts expect weaker earnings ahead though, minus 2.23%. The return on capital is great, 20.8%. And the debt compared to the free cash flow they are generating is only 2.7 years, so that's also a green check mark. Now for the yielding data. A strong dividend yield at 2.85%, that's a check mark. They actually bought back 3.22% of their shares last year. So that's a nice combined yield of about 6%. And the payout ratio is extremely low, so they have room to increase that dividend a lot. And the dividend growth rate the last 5 years is on average 9.5%, almost double digits, very good. And they have been growing this dividend for 13 years now. So a great score for Selenis, 9 out of 10 points. Let's check the valuation. Here we have Selenis in fast graphs. The orange line is the earnings and the white line below that is the dividend. They had some trouble during the last financial crisis 2008-2009 where the earnings went down first 20% and after that 40%. After that it has been really good for their earnings but a bit dip in 2020 and then a real boom for 2021. Ahead the earnings are going to be a bit weaker though. If we look at their normal PE, which is about 11.5, and, and also the current stock price, we can see that right now it seems undervalued with the only PE of 5. So if we project out to late 2024, we can see an annual rate of return of over 44%. Let's see how the analysts are doing with such a cyclical stock. In the analyst scorecard we can see that it's a bit unpredictable with the earnings for Selenis. They have about 40% beats and hits and 23% miss. So yeah, they could predict quite well up to 2017 then it has been all over the place. So this might be a bit unpredictable for their earnings. Please hit the like button and also watch one of my latest videos where I recommend 5 stocks for November. See you soon!